Last example, again, a set of equations, that we, a system of equations that we need to solve by graphing. Again, using the method of slope-intercept form for graphing, 4x minus 2y equals 8, subtracting 4x from both sides, and then dividing both sides by negative 2 to give me y equals 2x minus 4. Okay, the y-intercept is negative 4, the slope is 2. Increase y by 2, increase x by 1. Increase y by 2, increase x by 1, and so on. I have three points, that's plenty to graph this line. So that is my first line. Second line, again, slope-intercept form. Subtract, ex excuse me, add 6x to both sides gives you 3y equals 6x plus 12. Now, dividing both sides by 3 to get y equals 2x plus 4. So here I have a y-intercept of 4 and a slope of 2. So increase x by 2, increase y by 1. So I'm going to get a line looking like this. And what you'll see, what you may quickly realize, is that these are parallel lines. One thing you could have noted is that the slope, m, equals 2 for this line, and it equals 2 for this line. Since these are parallel lines, they are never going to intersect. And this is an inconsistent system, and there is no solution. And what we say here is that the you could say the solution is just empty set. There's no solution. This is described as an inconsistent system. Okay, that concludes this lesson of educator.com describing graphing to solve systems of equations, and I'll see you next time.